Welcome everyone to Ask Admissions. We're here at Weber State University in beautiful Ogden, Utah. It is, a, this is, I love this town. I've been having a blast. You know, the college tour has been here all week. There's snow-capped mountains, if you can see them right now. Watch the episode, it's awesome. And we have Sarah McClellan here. She's the Senior Admissions Counselor, right? Yes. And uh, I'm so excited to just ask you some questions, dive into, uh, you know, um, such a big deal for every student out there. Of like, what institution is right for me and how do I get through the admissions process and all this? So let's start with, who is the ideal student to apply here? <laughs> That's a great question because I feel like there isn't an ideal. Um, Weaver State University, we have students come from all walks of life. We have transfer students, we have new incoming freshmen from high school, non-traditional students who want to return to education, and we even have one of our most famous students is actually 79, a TikTok star, Grandma Great. And so really, Weaver State is for everybody. There's a place for everybody. I want to meet her. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was reading about this, and I'm so glad you brought it up right now. Where is she? Can we please bring her in here? It's I like, know. So, like, so, is, that, is that the oldest person that's ever gone taking classes here for a degree? I don't believe so. I helped okay. a student recently who was 88 years old. So oh, really? really? Like, oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah. yeah so it's the full, it's a full gauntlet. It's mm -hmm. Um, it, it's really cool. Um, walk me through what the admission, okay, so I've watched this episode or I live in the backyard here and I wanna come here. What's the first step they should do? Okay, so for students who are interested, they can go to weber.edu forward slash admissions. And that's kind of the catch all phrase of where you can get started. You'll find our online application, but you'll also find our contact information as admissions counselors. And we are always happy to set up an appointment either over Zoom or in person. Um, we can answer questions over email, over phone. So that really is like the best place to start is weber.edu forward slash admissions. All right, that makes total sense. Um, yeah. Okay, I know, I know the answer to this, but I'm gonna tee it up, okay? <laughs> you know, what is the acceptance rate here? <laughs> and can you elaborate on it? So Weaver State's mission is to provide education and access to all. And so we have, we are open enrollment, which means that we have pretty much 100% acceptance rate. I love that. Yeah. I, I, well, I just, there's so many, and, and the audience, you're gonna learn about this in the episode, but I just, when you think about what you all do to serve the community here, um, and you think of like the needs and just the fact that it's open, I, I just, I love it. Like, I just yeah. love the fact that it's like, if, you, if you're looking, you know, to go to a university and looking to get that degree, whatever that is at whatever stage you are in life, that this is a place that you can call home. Right. I love it. Right. I know. I'm just singing your praises. Like, it's not a question. It's just that I just think it's really You cool. should be an admissions counselor. Should I? Oh my gosh, I should. You're are you guys, are you hiring? Not yet. <laughs> yeah, so what's, um, so w besides going to the website, should should they call? Is it? Because yeah. I know this next generation, to be honest, <laughs> I, like, a lot of them don't like to jump on phone right. calls. But, and, yeah. and we know this, we talk about this, like, in the college tour sometimes like they just don't like you but i i always want to encourage it because there's so much you can learn from picking up the phone sorry i'm not trying to answer questions i don't no, even know if that is the great. right answer <laughs> but i just think it's like it's it, sometimes it can be overwhelming how right. do i what kind of forms do i got to fill out here and what do i got to do this from from applying to financial aid to all these different pieces it's yeah. just like everyone here is so nice like you all are so nice and just know that like Picking up a phone call can help you get to where you want to, you know, your questions answered and where you need to be. Yeah. And we really, I think calling is great, sending an email, but just explaining your situation and then we can really help you figure it out. I know, like you said, a lot of the younger generation does wants to just see the website or social media page. And we try to put as much information on there as possible, but sometimes you can't find it just from there. You and you don't get to meet Sarah. Call. Don't yeah. you want to meet people like Sarah here? I know. You can schedule a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> we can talk more about Weaver, about other things. So, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. What is, like, what's the most common question you get? Oh, that's a good question. Am I something now? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> a great question. I think one of the questions is, I we go recruiting out of state. Uh -huh. And they ask how our tuition is so low, mm -hmm. especially for out-of-state students. Um, but we also have really low tuition for in-state. So how is it so low? 
Do you want to explain it? Can you explain that? Yeah, so <laughs> Utah in general, it seems like the education system is a lot more affordable for higher, higher education. Um, but we also, that's our part of our mission, is to be affordable and accessible. And so we just offer over $90 million in scholarships and financial aid every year for our students. And so it's incredible. It really is. There's so many opportunities that students don't really take full advantage of because they don't ask. Like you said, just <laughs> calling and, you know, setting up an appointment really is helpful. So what is there a question you wish people asked you more? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, that is a really good question. You can think about that. Okay, Let's talk I'll about some about it. We'll come back. Okay. Why don't we talk about some of the key selling points of what makes, and you're going to learn about this in the episode, <laughs> but we want to hear from you, Sarah. Like, what makes Weaver so awesome? So one of my favorite things is we really do try to provide a hands-on experience. I know this is something that universities in general strive for, but for example, we have a greenhouse for our botany students. We have four different models of Teslas for our automotive students. We have a crime scene investigation lab for our criminal justice students. And we just have so many opportunities for all of our different students that it really does prepare you really well for the environment that you're going to go into after you graduate. I was I was speaking with your president earlier today, yeah. and uh, he was talking. We were talking about alumni and and how much the alumni here want to hire Weber State University grads because yeah. they understand like some of the they know they've gotten hands on work and they're like more ready to hit the ground running than most students out there. Yeah, and it really is like a family. You get so excited when you meet somebody who also attended Weber State, and it's just nice to have that yeah. like network and community. So. Yeah, and and you, and this connection, which you'll you'll learn about this in the episode, all the other digital series. We keep talking about the sense of community, but I tell you, earlier today we were at um, this Mexican restaurant downtown, yeah. and even like the owner there does this whole like scholarship day where everything, everyone who buys a you know yes. goes to eat there. It just it was just one small piece of the story that we hear over and over of like how intertwined you all are with the community here, which is just super special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's one of my favorite days. And that food is great at that restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why they brought me that. It was, yeah, it was, really, it was really good. And just the location, because wh what do you say? How many miles do you think? We're 30 miles, north, you know, yeah. from Salt Lake City. Yeah, so, we're not too far. Yeah, so you, got, you have like a nice airport to fly right into, <laughs> you know, and you got, you got the city, but you're in this... You know, I'll do the city, but it's yeah. not overwhelming. You no. know, it's 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 kind of like a perfect. The fact that you got so like not too far away, right. you know, but you're tucked up in the foothills of these beautiful mountains in a town that has you know restaurants and bars and everything else that you would expect. You yeah, know? so it's really nice. And you're not too far away from the airport either, which is one of my favorite things. I have to live close to an airport. So and by the way, me too. And yeah. also I appreciate it when I float because I fly every, almost every other day. Right. And, um, <laughs> and it, it is nice. It's, I, I think I got here 30 minutes from Southern airport. It's so nice. Yeah. yeah. So nice. So nice. It's close. So what was the question I tried to stump you on? So you asked me what oh, yeah, question. What, yeah. What you question wish, I, I wish. Yeah. And I think honestly, the biggest question that students just don't ask is, um, probably how to pay for it, how to pay for all this, because obviously education costs money. And I think students just like get scared by that number. But there really are, like I said, a lot of resources. There's a lot of great programs on campus that might not necessarily cover tuition, but they cover textbooks or a parking pass or all the other things that you may need. And so just asking about resources and reaching out um, would be the question that I wish more people would ask. Well, so. it's great too because earlier I spoke with Mark uh -huh. over in financial aid. We did a navigating financial aid digital series like this and, yeah. and dove into that because it's, and we were talking exactly where we are right now. It's like you just gotta like, because sometimes you can be a little vulnerable. Like, right. by the way, no one has all the answers, no. right? They do, <laughs> right? But no one out there, everyone's going through the same thing. How do yeah. I navigate, you know, figuring out what university is right for me and how do I get there and know that you have like so many nice people here like kind of ready to grab your hand and take you on an awesome journey. Yes. So. And schedule a tour. Always yeah. schedule a tour of the colleges you're interested in. Yeah. So. Yeah. And if you can't watch the college tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of if course. You, if you can't, if you watch can't the episode, go there in person, yeah. then this is great. But there is, there is nothing better than stepping foot on campus. And this campus has like an amazing energy and it's great. Um, so is there anything else we shouldn't touch them on? We had everything? 
I think you hit everything. That was great. It thank was... you so much. It's so <laughs> yeah. thank you on behalf of everyone at the college store, everyone who's watching this, like you all have just then. They're also like transparent and open and everything that it's been just a really fun journey, both making the episode and doing stuff like this where you're like, Yeah, I'll sit down with Alex and just you know, what are we talking about, Alex? <laughs> so I really appreciate it. Thank you you're so welcome. much. All right. Take thank care, you. everyone.